This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Now, many people like the set and sleeve best of all for the way that it fits and the way it looks on the human body. A lot of times in knitting patterns, they just have some sort of square sleeve. And I think it's great to learn how to put in a set in sleeve so it looks really good. And I've got a favorite method. I didn't invent it. It's just something I do all the time. I don't think anyone knows who invented it. A set in sleeve piece is shaped like this. It has a curve that goes up over the top of the shoulder and then this is the width of the sleeve. It goes around the upper arm. Short and long sleeves both have the same shape at the top. Here's a little sample sweater block that I've made just for the purpose of demonstrating how to put in a set-in sleeve. Right now I have it with the right sides out like it would be worn by this make-believe very small person. And this is what the front and the back look like. I'm going to begin by hanging this part of the sweater on the machine and then knit the set-in sleeve attached to this part as I go. The overall width of my sleeve is going to be 50 stitches. What I'm going to do is hang my armhole. Here's the shoulder seam. I'm going to hang it on that many needles. I'll use a single transfer tool and I'll start at the shoulder seam and I will pick up one stitch just to the inside of the shoulder seam and put it on needle number one left and one stitch just to the right of the shoulder seam and put it on one right. Then I will go and pick up one stitch right in the corner where the armhole shaping is and I hang it on the end needle on the far right. I'm going to pick up the corner stitch at the armhole shaping on the far left and hang it on needle number 25 left. Now what I'm going to do is pick up stitches working along and just matching them onto the needles. Now what I like to do is I like to hang a stitch in the middle of each of the pieces. I try to be careful to stay one full stitch in from the edge. And then what I'll do is I'll catch a stitch in between. And I'm going to continue to hang stitches at the very edge by the underarm where there are vertical stitches. I'm going to pick up one needle for each stitch, just following along that. After that, when I get farther up into the armhole, I'll actually be picking up the edges of rows. At this point, I have picked up all of these stitches along this armhole and I brought all the needles all the way out to holding position because I'm going to start by knitting a few needles in the middle of the top of the sleeve and work my way out. On the Studio 700 that I happen to be using I'm using the same tension as the garment. I have my Russell levers set to not knit the needles that are in hold position. And now I need to position some of my needles to knit. You follow the pattern for whatever shaping that you're making. Now in my case, my pattern calls for me to have six stitches at the top of the sleeve. So those six needles in the middle are pushed halfway back so that they will knit. To thread the machine, I open the yarn carrier and put the yarn in and close the yarn carrier. Then, over at the knitting, I bring the yarn over the needles and hold and hold it down in between the last needle and hold and the first needle in work. And just to make life a little easier, I'll put a clothespin on this yarn so it stays. Now I'm going to approach the needle slowly and knit across. And just as I desired, only the center 
six needles have knitted. Now for the next row, I'm going to add one needle on this side. So I wrap under the needle, I'm under the first needle, but over the remaining needles, and I bring it back halfway and it will knit. On the side opposite the carriage, I'm going to put two in work. So I take two needles halfway back, lift up as I approach, and knit back. For the third row, I'm going to go under this first needle and bring it back halfway and take two on the other side. And then I lift up as I approach and knit across. Every single row, I must either wrap under this first needle and put it in work or wrap under the first needle and not put it in work. But the important thing is that I always wrap so I don't get a hole. Now I'm going to increase one needle on both sides, so I'll bring this one back halfway and this one back halfway and knit across. And I'm going to do that again. Now my instruction is to increase one stitch on the beginning of the shaping and not on the end 12 times. So here I go. Back halfway. One. Two. Three. Four. Do you see the shape beginning to form? I'm getting a nice sleeve shape here. Now my instruction is to, is to increase on both sides three times. So I'm going to wrap, increase right, and increase left. That's one. Wrap, increase right, increase left. That is two. And finally, my third one where I do one on each end. Now my instruction is to increase one on this end and two on the other. Then one on this one. You can only do one on the carriage side. And two on the other. One on this end and three on the other, and one on this end, the final three on the other, and at last, the final two. Now the entire sleeve cap is knitted, and you just proceed making the rest of the sleeve according to your directions. For example, I'm going to do 20 rows. Now I'm just going to bind off quickly with a loop through loop bind off and show you how that turned out. Now just putting my hand in the sleeve and holding it up I think you can see what a very nice seam line that makes front as well as back. So try that. Hang your armhole on the machine and knit your set in sleeve upside down.